Hello from the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, site of the 2017 Mid-American Conference Media Day. I'm Steve Baker, joined by Miami quarterback Gus Raglan. We're here in front of the Hall of Fame and the Hall of Fame Stadium behind that. You've played a couple of times in that stadium. Yeah, we got to play here twice in high school. Uh, so uh, being able to come back, there's some pretty fond memories here uh, just from Moeller and, uh, you know, obviously – think very highly of this place and obviously being the Pro Football Hall of Fame is very cool going through there uh, last night but uh, glad to be back in Canton. Yeah, we were just talking, uh, the guys got a chance to tour the Hall of Fame last night. Also got a chance to meet a Mid-American Conference will be Hall of Famer in Jason Taylor. Yeah, Jason's a great dude. Uh, he told us a little bit about his story and how he came in as a basketball player and uh, I think me and Heath were, were just kind of thinking, you know, kind of kind of the same story as Quentin Rollins and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, Quentin can continue to, uh, you know, develop his career just like Jason did. But uh, great dude, and, and you see uh, guys like that, you know, in the Hall of Fame and uh, guys who are very successful at the no another level uh, from the MAC everywhere. So it was, it was great to finally meet one and uh, sit down and, and kind of talk to him a little bit. It's media day here and a lot of media talking to Miami University. Uh, the Red Hawks picked to finish second in the Mid-American Conference in the East. And uh, the media has been clamoring to talk to you guys, as a matter of fact. And uh, as Coach Martin said earlier, uh, it's, it's a big change from this, with this site a couple of years ago. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, obviously, seeing where this program's come just from the last three years, it's uh, night and day. So, uh, you know, just just honored to be here and uh you know obviously them them picking a second is just uh you know gonna be a chip on our shoulder and uh something uh you know to to, to fuel us as a team so uh but yeah it's been a great great couple of days up here in canton a part of that uh attention that miami is getting a lot of guys on watch lists you're one of those guys it's not an individual sport but it has to feel good that you're being recognized for your play yeah no doubt uh obviously uh, from this time last year has been kind of a, a big transition and uh, but you know at the same time the, no one's ever won championships being on preseason watch lists and, and preseason polls so um, it's something that you know you can kind of look at and, and say you know wow our program's come a far away but at the same time uh, you know I think every everyone on our team is extremely excited to, to get the season started and, and to compete for something bigger than you know just ourselves. Well, you're just getting uh, to fall camp just around the corner. Uh, uh, weekend uh, after next, uh, you guys will be reporting here and getting ready for fall camp. What do you see offensively that this team has to do in fall camp to get ready for Marshall on September 2nd? Uh, I think we had some injuries in the spring, so just kind of getting those guys acclimated again, Murph and, and James and, um, you know, just, just guys, stuff like that, getting some time down with those guys. But, uh, like I said, we had a great spring, great summer, and uh, we got a bunch of hungry dudes on our team, uh, you know, ready to ready to do something special. So I, I've never been, you know, more excited going into fall camp than, uh, you know, before this one. So I was going to say, and this is your first fall camp back 100% ready to go, uh, as you and knowing you're going to have the reins of this team going into the season. Yeah, it's a big challenge, uh, but it's also a great opportunity and something, you know, I've dreamed of since I was a little kid. So. Um, I think there's a lot of guys who would obviously, you know, like to be in that position. But, uh, you know, we got a, a great group of seniors and, and uh, a great group of leaders, which, which really, I think, separates this team from, from ones in the past. So uh, just looking forward to kind of leading the team with, with a great group of guys. And uh, I know we got a, a bunch of guys who are willing to, to do something special this year. Gus, have a great day today, but have a great season yeah. ahead. Thanks, Peg. Gus Raglan joining us here. Remember to follow the Red Hawks all season long on the Miami IMG Sports Network and here on MiamiRedHawks.com.